So that kind of helps draw a little bit more the picture of, of kind of your work. Um, I mean, you have some incredible work from, um, I mean, there's a big majority of it that is in, in London as well as, um, you know, Ethiopia, and you've traveled quite a few different places. How do you kind of find yourself in some of these different environments that allow you to get such impactful photographs? Um, <clears throat> the point is, uh, I really love traveling. I started traveling before taking pictures, many years before, you know, I started traveling with my mother mainly because she loves traveling and I went with her and uh, at some point in India in 20, in 2008, uh, I found there it was the place to start taking pictures because the travel there was very impressive for me. The poverty, the situation there, you know, it's very strong. And I thought at that moment, man, I, I have to take pictures. I have to to document this situation somehow, you know, and photography was probably the easiest way, you know, because I don't know how to write <laughs> or, or write properly, you know, in a proper way. And, and speaking, of course, is not my way or doing other things. So photography was like the easiest way to, to start doing, doing this. So um, this is like the my starting point in photography. So you said that it kind of started because of your love of travel, um, what brought you to India? What was the, was it, were you just visiting for like a, a vacation or was it? Yeah, yeah, basically tourism. We were there three weeks and, uh, <clears throat> and that's it. And, but it was my first travel outside Europe and, and uh, there uh, was the place where I understood that uh, the world is different than Europe or the Western countries, you know, because if you travel uh, along Europe or in the United States, probably or Western countries, you understand I, most of the things are more more or less the same, you know. But outside in in outside Europe, uh, Africa and Asia and Latin America and so on is quite different and and really really strong uh, situations, very very different than 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 Western countries, you know. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I mean, I, I definitely have noticed, I feel like when, uh, when I travel, there's, there's always some sort of desire to find something that is different. Like, I think for me, traveling is not necessarily, um, my, my key motivator in traveling is not like for, for relaxation and for like yeah. unwinding. Like for me, like when I travel and when I go, especially out of the country, like I want to find something that that changes my view. It, it changes literally like what I see. Uh, so I'm seeing new cultures that I'm not used to, new customs, um, new ways of living. And being able to do that inside of a different country, I, I entirely understand how it can be, uh, you know, a catalyst to make you want to become a photographer or make you wanting to take yeah. pictures because um, sh seeing something so different, like you almost want to just like take that back with you and photography seems like a really good avenue in order to do that yeah exactly i mean you just start i mean usually people start uh, taking pictures because they want to remember right it's the first uh, the first uh, purpose of photography you know just take pictures uh, taking pictures to remember where you have been before or in previous years or remember your family or whatever you know but if you go in deep little by little in photography at some point, you understand that it's also a language. It's a way of speaking to others, you know, to to show how they live. For example, when I was in Ethiopia, in Ethiopia I have been three three times, three different times. In 2013, I was for four months as a volunteer. In 2015 to 2016, for nine months, and also in 2017, I was just a couple of weeks. But uh, <clears throat> my purpose taking taking pictures in Ethiopia was just uh, to show the way of living there, you know, not the classic, very um, exotic images, you know, mm -hmm. which is usually what people see. If you check my website, we will go through it uh, later. You will see that this uh, daily life, you know, this is how they live. And it's not, it's not <coughs> uh, these exotic pictures, as, as I'm saying, you know, and this is what, this is what I try to do when, when I'm traveling ar around different countries, you know, just to show 
not only the classic uh, pictures, which are okay, I mean, you can take them, it's not a problem, but also uh, specific situations or, situ or scenarios or places or way of living of the people, you know. Yeah, and I think that might even be one of the things that drew me to your work. Um, I found you through Instagram, and um, I, as soon as I saw it, like that was something that stood out to me so much, is just your ability to show um, what normal life looks like for a lot of these people. Um, and mm. I think that is what's interesting about it, is because it's it's not necessarily the exotic setup shots where it's, you know, I think we all kind of like have seen a handful of those where it's like, it's a tourist type photo almost. It's, you're trying to create or, or make a scene be more exotic than it is rather than just showing directly what's happening. And, and a lot of your photographs, I think, represent like the more realistic side of a lot of these folks their daily life. Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you'd like to make sure that you don't miss any of our future videos, be sure to click the subscribe button and ring that bell down below to turn on notifications. You can also click or tap right here in order to see more full episodes and clips. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Now get out there and shoot your shot.